healthy life lifestyle, it could be a mission impossible. And how can I optimize my health through tracking because I'm not getting any younger? And let me introduce you to my baby mic. That's not a real baby. How do trees access the web? They log in. I have a question. Do you consider yourself healthy? How can you become more healthier? Because we're competing with the smartest and richest companies for our time, our attention, and for our resources. There's many benefits to being healthy. And the main reason why I wanted to do this study was because I have hyperthyroid. It's the overproduction of the thyroid hormone. It affects metabolism. It affects a lot of other things such as uh, heat intolerance, restlessness, hunger, uh, trouble sleeping, fatigue, irrit irritability, rapid heart rate, my heart skips a beat, weight loss. It also affects uh, irregular menstruation, problems getting pregnant. I don't have those problems, but it does affect fertility and libido. These are the things that I used to do my tracking. I had a thermometer, blood pressure cuff, a scale, and a whoop band. They track certain things on my body, and it, it puts it into application so that I can see certain trends. So daily consistent tracking gave me a more clear picture of what I was doing, because what I think that I eat, it's not necessarily, <laughs> it's not accurate, because I could eat two days worth of food and one sitting easily. And like I was saying before that, if I was in a deficit for five days and on the weekends, I could erase what I did. Often my environment or the company that I'm around, it could influence my decisions. So the solutions could be, um, don't buy those kinds of foods when you're in a grocery store, stay on the outside, buy real food, or cut out time or limit time with certain people or environments. I also track my macros on a Google spreadsheet and I use this website to get nutritional label information. I use this, it's a food scale to weigh out the food so that I could get the metrics. For last week, I did five days of dieting and then same thing on the weekends. I was only in a deficit of about 1,250, and it's not even a pound. I also use something called Notional Tracker. You can go on there online and then you can track certain metrics, such as uh, the medications that I'm taking. Did I take my medications, my workouts? Uh, did I get seven hours of sleep? I normally don't. Skincare routine, stuff like that, and they give you percentages on uh, your completion rate. So just be aware of what you're doing so that you can make these adjustments to change. The metrics paint a picture. Also for supplements, you could go to your doctor and get tested. There's genetics tests, there's blood tests to see what you're deficient in because everybody's different. Your background, your age, your sex. So like one of the members was saying before, uh, get checked up frequently, not necessarily once or twice a year because it's better that it's your responsibility. Your doctor is not going to make you healthy, teacher is not going to make you smart, it's up to you. I also went on Google Analytics and I used to walk a lot. Compared to last year, I walked 123 miles, this year only 31. So that, that's pretty, that, that's something that I need to work on and improve. For this tracker, I recommend it to Angelo. If you don't have one, get one. Because it, it tracks a lot of uh, different trends, such as the calories that you burn, the sleep that you're getting. The sleep that you're getting can affect your next day, your mood. Uh, weekends work versus weekdays. I notice that I get better sleep on the weekends. I wonder if you guys do too. This is what the app looks like. It, it tracks different metrics, such as strain, heart rate, respirations. It gives you a journal so that you could track what you're doing. Did I take caffeine? Did I drink alcohol? Stuff like that. The scale is pretty cool. You could do it manually, but if you just get on the scale, it syncs everything to the application. Same thing with the blood pressure cuff, the thermometer. Also for these products, you could use your HSA or your FSA account and buy them with tax-free dollars. 
This is what that application looked like. This is my yo-yo. And also another tracker that I was using was Oral-B for brushing my teeth. You're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes, but average time for me is 90 seconds. <laughs> and it, it tracks when, when you brush, how much pressure you're applying and, and when you did. So if you plan out your day, you can know what you can do, such as when, when you sleep, you work out, when you're eating, you're commuting, stuff like that. If you wanted to get good at something and you spent one hour a day at it, it'd take you three months. Versus if you spent four hours a day, it'd take you 25 days. So you, you determine how fast you get good at something. And there's a revolutionary way of how to track your supplements and medications. Can anybody guess what it would be? It's a pill counter. And then get glasses too to preserve your vision. So in, in conclusion, tracking gave me a more clear picture of why I was yo-yoing for the first quarter. Well, what you're doing for 80% of the time, it could determine the majority of your results. So the benefits of health are improved energy, mood, your cognitive function, confidence, quality of sleep, uh, happiness, longevity. Technology is a tool. Don't rely on it too much and listen to your body and good luck on your journey i wish you well and let me know if you need any help in the future